Why did you scream like that? Why? <laughs> it might be gay. If I was in that chair, I would have separated those cheeks like how Moses <laughs> separated the Red Seas. Yo. This guy definitely plays for the other team. He's Mark. gotta be a flaming homo. The internet is a crazy place for crazy people. Let's watch some of it together. Don't talk to me. Little secret, bald person to bald person. Oh. Bro, come on, bro. You're a grown man. Your girlfriend is beautiful. Why are you cheating on her with someone that looks like Fiona from Shrek? <laughs> oh, wow. Do I support liquor, guns, beer, titties, and quickies? Hell yeah! <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, that's the right acronyms. I also can name a few others. Lettuce, guacamole, bacon, tomato, quesadilla. Or, let's get Biden to quit. He did. <laughs> <laughs> You're an OnlyFans model, and you're doing all kinds of horny, girly shit on OnlyFans, you know, and then you expect your dude to respect you and not follow other women, you're delusional. Bitch, you- like, I've said this multiple times, a lot of them end up regretting what they did, but it's too late. You are undressing in front of a bunch of men all over the world. How dare you have that even remotely double standard that your guy can't do what you're already doing. You can't be an OnlyFans model and then say you're a monogamist. There's just no way. I mean, it's if you're not just sleeping social. with anybody else and you're not meeting up with anybody else, you're sharing your body and these personal things that should be only reserved for the person that you're Damn. with or married to. If She's you're cooking. married, and you're an OnlyFans model, and you're sharing your body on the internet, and I can pay to see your vagina hole. For $2.99 too, it's crazy. Back in the day, you used to have to wine and dine them, buy the hotel, get the, and now it's two ninety nine. dollars You are not a monogamous woman, I'm sorry. You're showing your private parts to other people who are not your husband. Nasty ass. Because when you take that vow, when you get married, you're vowing to be for that other person and only for that other person. Does anybody else find this insane? That this actually needs to be explained. Parents have absolutely failed their kids. Mm -hmm. And gentlemen, always remember this. Can never ever be a high value man if your partner or your woman is accessible and available to other men. That's just embarrassing, bro. Can you imagine? Uh oh, you supposed to make you supposed to make me look better, put me to a different level. But I make me look worse. I don't need you. Because your entire respect comes from the woman you choose to mother your children. If you choose loosely and you choose a woman that you would be upset if your daughter grew up to be like, how can you be a high value man if you can't make high value choices? Word. If you can't select women properly, how can you claim to be a high value man simply because you made six figures last year? You made six figures and you've invested it into a home. High value <laughs> men have high value <laughs> standards. Your values have to be high in order to be high value. How much are you making off OnlyFans? So it's between like 300 and like 350,000. A year? A month? A month. A month? Oh my a god. 4.2 million a year. How many people is that subscribed to you? I've got a free page which is like 45,000 mm. and a paid page which is like 26,000. What the fuck? With 46,000 followers? She's getting paid 350,000 dollars a month? I got 40,000 subscribers. I made like five bucks. Damn bro, y'all gotta start watching the videos to the end or something. Get me paid, my goodness. And I spent 10 years of my freaking life studying to become a business marketing manager shit and i don't even make close to that it's crazy like why are we normalizing prostitution and corn stars i blame the men the disciple of the soy and the simps we have to stop this madness uh, let me show you something cool but oh, wait Yo, bro, back up. First of all, you big as fuck. <laughs> Which one of you guys want that? I'm good. Oh, wow. One guy 
paid me like eight hundred dollars to do a slime video, but what he was very specific on how he wanted me to be slimed. Okay, we I, recently heard, had a slime video request that we talked about on the show too, seriously? so I'd love to hear about it. Yeah, yeah, it had to be very gooey, very mm -hmm. thick, and I had to have like my knees up to my chest, and it had to cover my whole head. Like it had to cover my knees. Like he was very specific. And you did this? You just humiliated yourself for eight hundred dollars. That's crazy. I'm about a covering money. What was the slime exactly? Meanwhile. <laughs> Katy Perry did it for free, so I guess you win it. How long should it last? Twenty-five seconds. So how long would you say that is? It depends if you're like skilled. So it depends on if you're skilled. Yeah, because I've not, you know, like I can pass if you know what you're doing. And then once I, time for bitch, you in a sex van, I, and you've reached a new low in your life. <laughs> Have you ever had with a guy and it took too long? Yeah. How long would you say like it's too long for you? I don't know. Maybe like. After 10 minutes and you're still trying, I'm just like, you know what? <laughs> this is going on for too long. Okay. If I'm doing 95% of the work, then I get to decide how long sex is. Five minutes to eat, five minutes to beat. Five inches. <laughs> no way. Are you guys eating the box? That is nasty work, bro. If you're eating the box, please unsubscribe right now. If it's not your girlfriend, bro, do not put your tongue down there. There's been mad dicks in her. You don't want your tongue to be where mad dicks have been. Chill out. Chill out. This is enough. Honestly, three inches as long as they last long enough. So how long is long enough for you? Two minutes. Yes. My turn, assholes. <laughs> Just went to Subway, got a six inch. You know what else is six inches? Not a stick. You know I'm fucking insecure! Why the fuck do you tell everyone? You know what's crazy? That's probably her brother. They're just doing it for clout. They don't need to fucking know! Damn. Fuck, you always piss me off. Always on my fucking day off. <laughs> he might have a pussy. This will be the beginning of my super villain origin story. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for a boy in Kerala. Brown eyes, Christian, doctor. She looks like Divya from Hank Med. Two inch. <laughs> Thank God. You can put a gun in my mouth. Whoa. I ain't donating, Chad. Okay, hold that thought. Okay. Expand. I graduated college with $40 in my pocket, built a million dollar business, and you just stopped me on the street to ask if I'd pay for some guy's socks. What world do you live in? You know what I mean? No. I mean, who am I even helping? Did my donation just vaccinate an eight-year-old Hitler? Did you just talk me into paying for Nelson Mandela's abortion? I don't know. You're, you're making such gigantic leaps of faith. But I'm not, though. So next time a person shoves an iPad in my face on my way to lunch, I'm gonna snap it in half. My money would be better off in a vending machine. Bro. Wow, he just went. That was so extreme. It really depends. Sometimes you don't know where your money's going, and that's true. Just donate to the person directly. You see someone in need, help the person in need. Oh, is one scientific accident away from becoming a villain. Word. I can't believe they're still together after all that shit. Wait, who? Who? <laughs> My ass cheeks. Do you have a duty to feed your child if you're a parent? I would feed my child. Do you have an obligation to feed your child? Yeah, but it's not in front of other people. It's because I care for the child. Okay, so you don't have any duties or obligations to anybody else in society? Just a sequence of entitlements? I don't think anyone entitled to anything. Nobody's entitled to anything? Yes. Except your baby to get food? Yeah, but even there, like, it's all very subjective. Like, I would take care of the baby and feed the baby because I care for the baby. But would you give a stigma towards people who didn't? No. 
Why? Because it's none of my business. So if people weren't feeding their children and they were starving because they weren't feeding them, you wouldn't want a societal stigma against that. I'm not there to judge. There are other people that can do that. So do that. you think that the job. world then is going to be a better place or a worse place because you refuse to judge and allow us to societal stigma towards people who won't feed their children? This reminds me of my childhood. What does this remind you of the childhood besides the food part? Reminds me of my childhood. What? The not eating part? <laughs> this girl is so determined to be right that she openly condoned child abuse. Guys, you can't buy that kind of stupid. This girl has two brain cells and they're both fighting for third place. Is a puppy a life worthy of respect and value? Yes, because it is separate from a human being. Is a blade of grass something that's life and worthy of our respect and value? It probably could be comparable to a fertilized egg. Is a fish in the ocean worthy of our respect and value? Same thing as a blade of grass. How about a single-celled organism on Mars? Is it life? I'm defining it as life, as a living yes. single-celled organism. It's a living cell, but does it have moral weight and value? See, now we've come back to the beginning of this very long, very important productive conversation, that there are differences between different types of life. They're living beings, they're living organisms, but there are moral hierarchies between different types of biological organisms. I would beg to differ that a human being, in or out of the womb, is worthy of our respect and value and protection. And I find it so ironic that so many people will say a single-celled organism on Mars or a blade of grass or a fish in the ocean or a puppy is worthy of our undying respect, support, and protection, but a human being isn't. Fish is comparable to a blade of grass. <laughs> oh no, she didn't. That My crazy. boy Nemo took offense to that. Have you ever noticed that one arm is shorter than the other? I've never noticed that. And it's on the way. You see, you can't expect those who hate themselves to love and respect a human life. True or false? Only women get pregnant. True. True. <laughs> True. 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 Very true. Absolutely true. True or false? Only women get pregnant. False. False. Because uh, there are trans people that exist, and trans men can also be pregnant as well. Uh, that's still a girl, though. Uh, false. She has, like, fe female parts. And what are your pronouns? Uh, they, them. <laughs> that, I would just love oversimplification. You can already tell their answers, judging by the way they look. I swear, if I could go back in time and tell the woman that stood up for our right to work, I would. Meanwhile, this young, successful woman is going viral because she can't find love in her life. Let's see if you can spot the problem. Like, I genuinely just want love in my life so badly. It's literally not about anyone else. It's just about me and what I want. So you don't want love then, you want something else. You want attention. And and being over the fact that I don't have it. I feel like I have done so much work on myself. I have built a beautiful life for myself. I'm happy with- Go for you. Go to the bar or something. Get on Christian Mingle or get on Tinder, do something. My life where I'm at, nah, my job, I'm successful, I'm independent. I'm healthier than I've ever been. I take such good care of myself. Truly the only thing I'm missing in my life is someone to enjoy it with. And I'm so sick of waiting. Like, when is it going to be my turn? What more do I have to do to fix myself? Her mental mindset should tell every single man who sees this that she has more red flags than the damn Chinese communist parade, That's sweetheart. Awesome. You're single because you're too damn selfish. It's all about me, 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 me. And ladies, pay attention to what this guy has to say in this next clip. Your list of what you want. Yeah, yeah, I'm super picky, but I'm gonna start off with the personality traits. So the first thing is, I don't Let's like a super extroverted woman. I don't like main character syndrome. I don't want a woman who thinks it's all about her and the world revolves around her and her feelings. I like. Unfortunately, that's the case for most women, though, bro. Like, I'll say fairly low in neuroticism because women are higher in neuroticism than <laughs> men. I like introverted. I like feminine. I like sweet. I like low key. She has a 
regular little job. I don't like confrontational women. I don't like women who are really masculine or outspoken, who always are combative or have something to say, who nag, who have a problem with everything. All that's neurotic, but there are a lot more neurotic women nowadays, so I have to be much more careful. And I'm really dismissive when it comes to that. So the moment that I see that you overreact to a situation or you get really insecure or you cause conflict and drama over something that I don't perceive to be that deep, especially. I always minimize. That's my thing. I turn big problems into little problems. They're turning little problems into big problems, and that's the problem.